excuse me, Janet, yes. the um, budget committee the budget. is meeting on Thursday the night, so and they'd the like budget. you to go with your budget to them on Thursday night. Thursday night. So okay. Um, with the, um, the adjusted, which you guys so just adjusted? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'll so email you. Okay. Okay. Everything Howard from B, from B yeah. down, we're tables. Are they going to be this late? I'll put on, on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'm moving it. I'm this is so fast. I'm moving it to Saturday's meeting. All right, but that's Thursday, right? Sounds like a deal. Right. I'll right. right. set right now. Motion to adjourn. I can go home. The interim time administration. Motion. Oh, it tells motion to adjourn. No. You're under 100. John, you can come back wherever you okay. are. I'm going to have you take over uh, for a minute because I'm going to call Tim. Um, uh, I'll leave some water bottle in. Come on. Okay. I'll keep that. Interim town administrator transfer funds to purchase air bottles from fire department. I was requested to find some areas that we could get some funds to help them? purchase at least 25 of the air bottles. You found them? Those are the accounts that I, I felt we're most able to use right now. So I'll make a Which motion. 25,000 should get them 25 or better ear bottles. Before you go to that, Mr. Perry, my charge on Friday was to find an additional 10. I went through my budget and I came up with some areas that I'm, some things I'm going to hold off on doing and uh, try to come up with 10,000 that will give us 35 bottles or if I can get a better price more than 35 bottles so again before you make that motion you know what I was charged with and um, what I'm trying to come forward with another 10 and then I would also ask if your motion could include simply because it is a sole source I'd have to look to the solicitor we have done this before that it's a sole source that has to go to shipments fire equipment they're the only Scott distributor that can do that. So long as you just give a written statement on that. I will do that. So, but again, I'm I, just Mr. asking Mr. if they would because this 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 ten is not on the agenda. Can we do this right now at the same time? Well, you could amend this to add another ten thousand. Ten thousand. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll make a motion to amend the original um, <coughs> proposal from the solicit the um, not solicit from the act the interim. Administrator to add ten thousand from the sources from, listed by the, the fire chief. Yeah, okay. so submitted by the fire chief. Second to total thirty-five thousand dollars. All right, we get a motion, a second. Discussion. All those in favor? Opposed. All right, so up. moved. You get your air bottles. Uh, I believe we still the solicitor may correct me. I believe we have to state that it has to. Does the motion have yeah, to state that, that, from the sole source bidder? Yeah, uh, sole source vendor. Sole, sole source, source vendor. Motion to include sole source vendor with Second. something with writing. writing. I'll get that yes. for you. Yep. Second. Okay. All right. Good. Good. We just, we just to vote. Are you yeah, just going to include it in the notion? Yeah. 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 Well, Denise was on a break, so it was okay. right. seven. Good. Six to All right. Six Thank you. All right. G two new business. Uh, Tiverton Fire Department. Robert Lloyd. Discussion and possible vote on hiring of lateral firefighters for current vacant positions in the Tiverton Fire Department from list of applicants. I got more information. Mr. Chief. All right, the president so, has returned. So I had come to you. I had come to you before and asked that uh, if we could go out and uh, create a new hiring list. We had had our last hiring list. Um, we went. We used the electronic format that we had used in the past. I have 76 applications. I was quickly going through them. I'm still waiting. The before I do anything with it is that the chairman of the personnel board is in Florida. He was supposed to be back today. He was supposed to call me. So today, tomorrow, I want to meet with him. So he can go over the applications and determine uh, right now I have I'm looking at 37 uh, candidates that fall somewhat in the category of having firefighter one and two uh, either paramedic students or cardiacs that um, I have to go a little bit further into their backgrounds to see if they've been actively employed by another fire fire department because that's what we're looking for we're looking to try to find somebody who is either currently with a department and leaving or has just left another department to come in I have two vacant positions right now yeah. which are killing me with overtime and then you also have an FMLA that might come back that's due to come back in March at the end of March I don't believe it's the end of March Right now, I, I don't know that I can discuss that here okay, but, because but. There, is, there is one on FMLA, but I have two more that are going out on FMLA. Okay. All right. 
Yes, I have that too. And I have, right now there are, there are three out, but I am also down two complete vacancies where those people have left to go to other fire departments. So we're now five. That's the, one went, not, did both go to a fire station or one didn't? Um, one, did not, did not. one did not. One did not. He went back to his family. To a fire station, Correct. And the other one went to his other job. Correct. Who decided not to be a fireman anymore. Right. Okay. Um, and, and you also have four IODs. I've just gotten several. I've got, uh, I have two still that are on IOD. I just got two back. Perfect. Two. One, two, three. I'm getting the second one back this weekend. Okay. I was wondering. Yeah. All right. No, I just looked so I could see how many positions you actually had. All right, so right. right now we have two empty positions. Two empty positions right now, and I would like to try to fill those if I can. Uh, you know, I know this kind of... Overtime is going off the wall. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not going to make it through the end of the year if we don't You're do not. something. You're right. Because we've been looking at right. that. Right, and, and, and I will say, because I know this conversation's on, I would love to be able to hire people from within Tiverton. If I can find people that are Tiverton residents that fall into this category, I would be more than glad to hire them. However, we will still continue, even if... I can't get this. I will still continue, and I will try to look to Tiverton. I have to be equal to everybody, but I would, I'm still going to continue the process of the remaining 70-some-odd remaining people that we've got. Can you use any, like, little Compton guys to fill in the... No, we cannot, because there, there is clauses in their collective bargaining agreement that prevent that. No, we did send some guys We did there. send down there. We'd have to, that would be a discussion we'd have to have with the union to fill it. But then again... When our guys went and filled in Little Compton, they were paying their overtime rate to our guys oh, to work right. there. Yeah, okay. yeah, they, so we they weren't paying them, they were paying them, so yeah, okay. yeah. All right, so I need a motion. I'll make a motion. Second. So the motion is to um, I don't know what second. give, <laughs> the, <laughs> right, give the, the fire chief commission to hire uh, um, off the lateral fire Hiring of lateral firefighters for current vacant positions in the Tiverton Fire Department from the list of applicants. You made that motion? Yes, I did. Second, second it. it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Wait, wait, wait. do we have to say it's got to be two? Because that's what it says here. No. No, it doesn't have to be two. Okay. So if another opening comes up tomorrow, we've okay. given him permission to okay. hire I, I don't from see the lateral. No, it, it just doesn't says say two. Current it says positions. these hires would fill two current. Chief, there's no union problem with this. Though. No, there is not. No, because we got permission. Yes. It's an agreement. Oh. Yes, I'm positive it was an agreement. Okay. All right. Um, DBW director. Thank you. Did we get a solid vote on that? We unanimous. Oh, all those in favor? I'm sorry. No, we did. I'm going to continue. Did we? I had a question. Bill, request approval of uh, potential lease for battery substation on land at DPW facility. Yes. So um, I was approached by a uh, company that is, is consultant for National Grid, East Light Partners. Um, they have been tasked by National Grid to try and alleviate the brownout conditions that are happening on, on down at Little Compton during peak times. Um, one of their one of their solutions right now is to put a battery backup system, similar, but a big like conic size box. Um, on a 20 by 20 foot area, they would like to, and because DPW facility is right next to the substation in Tiverton, it was a prime location that they came, so they, they would like to lease for a term of four years, initial term of four years up to 10 years, for $5,000 a year, 400 square feet of land that would be adjacent to the pump station right in front of uh, DPW's facility. Right now it's grass, it's a grassed area, it'll be a 400 by 400 chain link fenced area. Do it. All right, so what will this cost, and where are you getting the money? This won't cost a thing. They're going to pay us five thousand oh, dollars. I'm sorry, I missed that. Quarterly, quarterly payments of twelve fifty. <laughs> uh, quarterly payments of twelve fifty a year. Okay. Uh, Tony Peter has from Tony's office has reviewed the lease, pro the proposed the draft it's, lease right it's, now. It's, correct. It's, it's it's a typical lease for matters of this nature. Okay. So motion. moved. Okay. Uh, so Joe's motion is the approval of potential lease for batteries. So Station on land at DPW facility. Oh, second. second. Motion to remain second. Any further discussion? Negative discussion. Um, <laughs> Bill, I just want to clarify. This is land that is encompassed by where DPW is today, not additional land in the industrial park, right? No, this is uh, the grass area between our building and the road, yep. right next to the existing Beautiful. pump station. Yep. All right. All those in favor? Okay. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. 
Um, there's no bids and requests. Town administrator announcements. None. Council announcements. Councilor Hilton. Oh. Just a reminder that Lorraine Jubert uh, at the council's request will be here on Wednesday uh, with the um, workshop for municipal decision makers. Um, Council Bob? I have been uh, in contact a couple of times a, a month with Joe Allman on the casino revenue. I've been working with Tony. Tony's drawing up all the ordinances that I'm gonna present. I don't have everything ready in a nice neat, nice, neat package at this time. I got one more appointment with Joe Allman. I'm gonna go over there and see where they, how they spend their money. So uh, right now I'm just gonna continue it, if it's okay, to the next meeting. We, can we have it ready by the next meeting, you think? Or maybe, maybe a month, is a month? A month would probably be better. A month, okay, it's gonna take me about a month to finish up. Hmm. All right, so just tell me when you want to be on the agenda. Just In a month. Just the, the, okay. the last, maybe the first of April, I guess, would be Perfect. better, Tony. All right, we'll remember that. A bit, so. Yeah, okay. well, we got to get it done. Um, what are you doing? <clears throat> oh, we still get council announcements, right? Yeah, council announcements, but I want them there so I don't forget them. Council announcements? Yeah, I just wanted to congratulate the Tiverton High School girls basketball team for winning the championship. And great season. And the boys did pretty good too. Yeah, the boys almost made it. So Ooh. congratulations to the boys too for doing that. Because for being almost as good as the girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the girls, but no, I'm only kidding. Um, anyone else? Madam President? Yes. Um, I just want to apologize to the council because I know it was a driving force to get the Nemo presentation here. Uh, however, forces outside of my control will, pre will preclude me from being able to attend. Oh, jeez. Anyone it's else? Gonna get, it's going to get taped. You're going to get watched. You better watch the tape. Anyone else? Put it on YouTube. Um, Chief. I would like to, it's been asked to me by several councils and it has been brought forth. Um, I've been able to enter in with Fall River Fire Department into a, a program that's called Fire Ops 101, which is to give counselors or elected officials who wish to have it um, exposure into what firefighters do, which includes real fire. Um, I don't have a date as of yet, but I'm asking if, the, if members of the council are interested in attending. This will involve Absolutely. going into live fires with breathing apparatus, full turnout gear, uh, the Let's whole do, nine yards. And you're going to rescue all of us? You will be. You will <laughs> bring some no, packs no, and bottles. Certain people. <laughs> you will be one on, one on one with a, a firefighter from our department, but we will be working in conjunction with Fall River at their burn facility up at uh, Commerce yeah. Way. So I w the only thing I would ask, I tried to get a hold of the council Edwards, but apparently he's been very busy. Um, I just need to know how many counselors would be in willing or interested in doing it. It's very strenuous. I just want you to make sure you know that. I'm in. But, okay. All right. I'm in. Okay. We'll work on it. Madam President, come on. All right, I'm in. Be careful. Kelly. All right, just a quick update. Uh, the girls did won the did win the division three championship. The boys came in second. Um, they both boys and girls uh, did qualify for the state championships. Uh, the girls play Wednesday night of this week, Wait. and the boys uh, the girls are playing in Ponagansett, mm. and the boys are playing on Thursday night at Coventry High School. Thank you, Kelly. Welcome. Uh, yes, okay. and I am um, going to make sure that Nancy distributes it over to the Charter Review Commission yes. too. You're in the, the later stages of uh, the one year time that the uh, Charter Commission has to uh, uh, come up with some uh, proposals to amend the uh, town charter. And I, I just want to make clear what the procedure is in the fact that, you know, the, the Charter Review Commission is going to have to come back to the Town Council. They'll present, I'm sure, a report along with uh, what they feel is appropriate to amend uh, the Town Charter. It's clear under uh, Article 13, Section 8 of the Rhode Island Constitution that it's, uh, uh, when it comes to amending a Town Charter, that the legislative body of any city or town is the one that actually makes the proposals. You have to vote on that. Uh, there's actually a lawsuit. It's a uh, Middletown case, Viveros uh, versus the uh, town of Middletown from 2009. 
<coughs> that makes it clear that in this context, uh, the legislative body of the town is the town council. Uh, it's going to be a tight time frame because uh, the election was July 18th. I understand the uh, uh, results are certified July 24th. Um, August 8th is when the Secretary of State needs the necessary language for the, uh, for the ballot. That is not an easy task. So, um, you know, as this comes around, um, you know, it's going to be a tight, tight turnaround time. The state constitution does not require a public hearing. Your town charter does. It doesn't specify whether or not the charter commission uh, or the town council holds a public hearing, so long as a public hearing is held. I understand the Charter Commission is, is actually holding a public hearing tonight, tonight yeah. and that's fine. But, you know, um, whether or not there is a requirement for a public hearing, it's always a good idea. You might want to think about scheduling one as time marches on. If anyone has any questions uh, on this um, procedure, please let me know. Um, I've done a lot of research on it. Uh, and uh, be happy to answer any questions you might have. Not tonight, but as time marches on. All right. Now I want to tell you all something. Is everyone listening to me? You all? You could, yeah. um, I was, I think you all know that they wanted a liaison, and I offered to um, speak, I offered to do it, but not to go to every meeting. We, we actually voted to be, have you be the liaison. Well, I didn't let you vote for that. I don't think I even called for that vote. But I, re anyway, I recall discussion so on the matter. Rob Coulter and I have been talking, um, and he requested that I meet with him. Um, and I met with him Friday night. He brought Jeff Karen with him, and I brought Trish. Because uh, I, I, I'm the one that said I wanted to bring a council member with, with me. Um, the meeting went very well originally, and then it did not go as well. Um, they, I don't want to go into too many details, but at the end, I just uh, they asked us during this meeting if we would meet with different parts of their committee and talk to them about the things that they're putting on the ballot. Well, that they're going to propose to us that they're putting on the ballot. And at first, I was thinking about it, but. I do not want to meet with them alone anymore, and I don't even want to bring one person. I want to suggest that if they want to talk to us, that we do it as a workshop, and I check with Tony, um, and I suggest we do it in May, because they're pretty much, they've got lists, and they know what they're, they're doing and what they're not doing. They wanted us to talk to these members. I'll, I'll tell you, at the end of the meeting, I was not comfortable meeting with them alone anymore without all of you being there. This is going to be a controversial subject. We all know it, and we all have to admit it sooner or later. And I am not going to get tied up in it alone uh, because I don't want a he said, she said thing. So if it's OK with all of you, um, they want to meet, and they want to talk about different items. They're hoping that we come to some kind of compromise so that it isn't so controversial at the end. Um, I talked to Trish about this, and I think she was in agreement that, uh, that, um, that we should do it this way. So if it's OK with you, I'll schedule some kind of workshop in May where they can come to us. They can talk about each item. And maybe we can work out some kind of agreement on the items. But I, I do not wish to do that alone anymore. Madam and President? Any, yes. Um, personally, I, I'm. After the solicitor just ran through his memo, I'm a little uncomfortable with having a workshop with them. I feel that, you know, the the language is pretty straightforward in the Constitution, that they're to go through and do their work and then finalize a report, and then we would then discuss those items. And, you know, I, I'm very, you know, I'm very con concerned about, you know, you saying that we need to have a compromise with them up front because... Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not saying that I need to have a compromise. No, no, we, you said we. But yeah, the council, I get that. want to meet with us, they want to go over the items, and they were hoping that we could compromise and look at the items and talk to them about each specific. Let's face it, guys, the people on this um, commission, some of them have no experience in town government. They are putting together some things that um, are a little questionable, whether they're constitutional or whether they're lawful. They wanted to talk to us about it. Um, they realized this could end up to be a very controversial thing. They wanted to come to the table and talk to us about the items. 
I got the impression that the people we were meeting with were willing to listen to what the council and Tony with us thinks about these items and maybe come to some agreement on some of them. It's up to you. I don't think it's a bad idea. I think um, whoever wants, if, if we can, I'm not saying compromise, but if we can all talk about what they had in mind and what we think about it, then this may be an easier process than what it could have been. Um, if, if you don't want to do it, I totally understand, and I won't. I'm are, just bringing it to are you. Are they going to present us with what their proposals yes. are? Yes. So why don't we let them give us their proposals, We'll look well, them over. They're all online. We'll look them over, and then if we feel we should sit down and meet with them, then maybe we but can all online. decide on doing it. I don't think we're we're actually, we're actually, we're actually, Yeah, actually, we're behind, beyond what the line item is on the agenda. <clears throat> right. So, but it's it's something to consider. But I don't. This is wanna, what I want you to do. I want you to give your opinion to Nancy by email whether or not you think this is a, this is good. If I have a quorum, I'll do it. If I don't have a quorum, I won't. I'm on. Okay, Madam President. I, I just got told I, I gotta stop. All right, oh. Before you finish, though, I just need to. We have the last say that what goes on the right. ballot. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Do. That's all I care. About. All right. We yeah. absolutely do. Because if you look at those things, there's there. Some right. of them, some of them are crazy. Joe, Crazier I, I than me. Have, that makes them pretty bad. Okay. I, I just Andy. have a question for the solicitor. Uh, he might know what do other towns do with their charter review commissions? What is the is is the process specific for the town or is it a, well? I, I think other cities and towns follow um, Article 13, Section 8. A uh, Charter Review Commission will come up with a report. They'll come up with their uh, proposed uh, amendments. They'll present them to the town council, and then the town council will decide which um, um, amendments go on the ballot. And at that point, it's when the, the ballot language is, is developed. And, and um, at what point, like, a question has been, or a statement has been made about some of these being legal or not, if we can do it by the Constitution. When does the legal review happen for these proposals? I'm, I'm doing that now. Doing okay. that now. I've gotten one batch in. I'll probably uh, answer another batch uh, sometime this week. And I think as, as uh, the uh, review commission um, starts to formulate what they want to do, I'll, I'll, I'll give them advice on that also. Okay. I am just bringing this forward to you because I don't want them to turn around later and say we asked Denise to meet for, to discuss this and all of you say, well, she never told us. <laughs> so I don't remember that, it. That's why I'm, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I'm bringing it up because whatever people approach me with, I don't want to later be um, told that I didn't tell you guys. So that's tell, why Tell I'm them they can submit a formal request and a form letter to us. Okay. Wow. So I'm going to move on. So, so is the idea that we're supposed to let Madam Clerk know if we'd be willing if to do it? If you would it? be willing to do it, and I'm not doing it unless I have a quorum. Okay. I, I'm going to just say out loud that I would be willing to do it. They are an elected body, and I do think that having in the right setting a discussion earlier is better than waiting till the end. All right. Um, Council Edwards. Clerk announcements, anything? No, uh, no, because okay. she would say Madam President, I'd like to make a motion to go into closed executive session. Council President, Collective Bargaining 4246-5A2, update on negotiations, IBPO. Second. Motion's been made and second. Yes. Um, Joe Perry. Yes. 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 And continuing closed, closed executive session, Council President 4246-5A1, Town Administrator, Personnel, Job Performance, and Character. Second. Yes. 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 We're now in close executive. I just want to talk to Tim for a second.